pound for pound the most vicious animal on earth. Other experienced are known to attack animals many times with size. Known to drive birds and cougars from their fields. A beast that cannot stand to watch other creatures enjoy it with speed. Often blitzing them just to get it with remain of their food. But in the next few weeks, 13-year-old Gong Pry Sojin Tana, Westerner San Sheridan, and female fighter Boontan Kitmuti will face their toughest opponents yet. They each have different reasons for taking on such a brutal sport. But they all share the same dream, to prove themselves in the world of Muay Thai. Poised at the crossroads of Southeast Asia, the Kingdom of Thailand reveres its traditions. Every breath carries a prayer, and every fighter moves to an ancient rhythm. Muay Thai, or Thai boxing as it's known, orchestrates form and ferocity. With Buddhist ritual and a steadfast code of honor. Dong Pry, Sam Sheridan, and Boom Tern may look like Western style prize fighters, but they pack a more extensive arsenal. You put a Muay Thai fighter against a boxer, the boxer's going off, no question. It's often confused with boxing and kickboxing, but Muay Thai is neither. International style, or Marquette of Queensbury boxing, focuses on the fist. Kickboxing lets a boxer use his legs. But Muay Thai goes one step further, unleashing every weapon at the fighter's disposal, including elbows and knees, which are outlawed in boxing rings around the world. Before the monsoons pass, these three barefoot boxers will finally have the chance to prove themselves in this age-old sport. They're each counting on a victory, but just going the distance to take everything they've got. Every year, young hopefuls leave the fields and factories determined to be the next big thing. The best of them can earn in one night what their parents make in a year. For kids like Gong Pry Sojintana, boxing may be the only way to escape poverty. Every day before school, he works out in his backyard, prepping for his next fight. When I was young, my parents were very poor, so I started boxing to earn money. For the last 10 years, Gong Pry's mother has taken in kids from the neighborhood, raised them as her own, and trained them to be boxers. Gong Pry has been watching and waiting since he was four years old, but now it's his chance to fight for the family. He's been boxing pro for a year, and already he's knocked out seven opponents. All of his fights have been at the local level, but with his next match, he has a chance to move up, to finally prove that he's a real contender. Just a few hours from Gong Pry's makeshift ring stands one of the best boxing camps in Thailand, Fairtex. Fairtex attracts champions from all over the country, but there's an unlikely fighter among the ranks. Sam Sheridan is a 25-year-old American, a Harvard graduate and an amateur boxer who's been training at Fairtex for the last five months with just one goal in mind, his first Muay Thai fight. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm really excited about it. I've been here for five months training, and uh, I'm dying to try it out, really. Preparing Sam for fight night is legendary master Apiday Sit Haroon. He's long since retired from the ring, but his bone-breaking kicks are still considered the best in the history of the sport. Even though Sam and Apiday don't speak the same language, they've forged an intense bond over Sam's upcoming battle. This is a one-on-one -on -one relationship we have, and I mean, I'm his student. I, 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 nothing more I'd like him to win for him. Westerners like Sam aren't the only newcomers to Muay Thai. In the past few years, a new underdog has emerged. Female boxers like Boon Tern Kitmuti have something to prove to everyone who's ever said that Muay Thai is a man's sport. Boon Tern is a 29-year-old mother of two from Pak Chong, 
a village two hours north of Bangkok. Ever since she was a little girl, she's dreamed of being a boxer. My father was a boxer when he was a teenager, and he always loved to watch boxing on TV. When I was young, before he died, I used to sit by his side and watch with him. But tradition barred Boon Tam from even touching the ring. When I was young, I tried to talk to some boxers, but I was told that I wasn't allowed to touch the ring or any of their stuff because I was a girl. It was forbidden. I always wondered why it was taboo, why I couldn't get in the ring. Men and women are different, they said. At that time, I thought I had no chance of ever becoming a boxer. A few years ago, on the outskirts of Bangkok, Muay Thai officials rigged a new ring just for women and revolutionized the sport. Now, Boon Tam may finally have the chance to realize a dream she had all but abandoned. Every day, Gong Pry and his training partner run past the weathered ruins of Ayutthaya, the medieval capital of Siam. For hundreds of years, Siamese soldiers trained in the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat, right here in Gong Pry's hometown. Over time, these fighting techniques evolved into a grassroots sport. Instead of using gloves, fighters bound their knuckles with hemp. Sometimes they would even grinding glass to inflict greater damage. Over the years, Muay Thai took on elements of Western boxing, like gloves and the ring, until it developed into the sport it is today. Like the warriors before him, Gong Pry follows a strict exercise regimen. Every day he lifts 15 kilogram weights with his teeth, spars in the ring, and hits the bag over 600 times, all before getting ready for school. If it weren't for the constant training, there might be no school for Gong Pry. The money he makes in the ring pays for his tuition, and the goal is for him to earn enough to go to college. But his education isn't the only thing riding on his fights. The money he earns helps support the children his mother takes him from the neighborhood. I see that some kids aren't going to school, so I ask them why not. They say, my mother doesn't have enough money to send me. So I give them some of the money that Gong Pry wins to help out. And there's no shortage of kids who need her help. As in other cities around the world, drugs have devastated this peaceful community. Gong Pry lost one of his best friends to drugs. The boy who grew up at his mother's house, but ran away after becoming addicted to heroin. He was a pretty good fighter. He's like an older brother to me. The dealers sell drugs to about half the kids in my neighborhood. I don't know why they do it. Easy money, I guess. And a lot of them are drug addicts themselves. Muay Thai keeps kids off drugs because they have to exercise, to train, and they earn money. They give the money to their grandmothers, to their brothers and sisters, for their families. At 13, Gong Pra may seem shockingly young to be fighting in the ring. But in Thailand, kids as young as six fight for money. First time I boxed, I was six years old. I weighed 20 kilos and got about $2. Boxing is simply a good way to make money. For many families like Gong Pra's, it's not a matter of living in luxury. It's a matter of getting by. If I want a lot of money, I'd buy things for my family that they need, like food. And there are plenty of rags to riches stories to inspire Gong Pry. Rising superstar Gao lifted his family out of poverty. But the 15 year old rarely gets to see them. Half his earnings go to his camp. The rest is channeled directly to his parents, who run a tailor shop out of their rented two room flat. His boxing camp is like a substitute family, but it's still very far from home. Like many boxers, Gao lives far away from the family he's fighting for. The camp is about 100 kilometers from my hometown. I really want to go home. I miss home. Being separated from Gao hasn't been easy for his family either, but his parents and three sisters need the money he brings in. Sometimes I feel bad that I can't support my children. 
But I pushed my son to be a boxer, to support himself. 